the sampler function on VFX control. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the sampler. The sample tool is found in the Windows menu. Click on it to make it appear on the interface. The sample tool is an autonomous function and can be placed wherever you want on the screen. It has four samples per player, which means a total of 16 samples. What you want to do now is load the samples you have in your explorer. Once you have them, simply drag and drop a sample on the sampler pad. Here we just drop the sample on the pad one of sampler one. As you can hear, the sample works. The next thing you can do is to save this setting for further use. Go to File, Sampler Session, and Save As, then name this session. Otherwise, you can load a previous sampler session. To do this, go to File, Sampler Session, and Open. This is where you will find your previous sampler sessions. The pads light on the VFX MIDI controller when samples are loaded. They turn orange on the interface when they are used. Samples are a loop or a sound or a record that is saved on your sampler. Please note that you can change from one session to another session while live mixing. Now let's go further with this function. You can choose the audio output on sampler 1 and 2. The sampler tool has different reading modes, which are now listed on the screen. These are standard sampler commands. To adjust the sampler volume, hold shift plus pad 3 to increase the volume, or shift plus pad 4 to minimize the volume. Using the controller, you can also move from pad to pad, holding shift plus pad 1 to move left, or shift plus pad 2 to move right. Samples are sounds which can be equalized just like any other sound. You can equalize the bass, the medium, and the trebles on a sample. The sampler also has a pitch slider which has the same specificities as the player pitch. Ranges are plus or minus 6, 10, 16, or 100 percent. The sampler also has a master tempo function on its pitch. This stabilizes the key of the sample played, no matter what the pitch is. The black window on the right side of the pitch bend gives you all the information about the sample, the speed, the length, etc. The four buttons underneath the sampler pads are used for four different functions. Pad number one is the selection of the sample. Pad number two is the loop. Pad number three is to mute the sample. And the number four is to play the sample only once. I will now show you a little demo of the sampler, how the basic functions work. The other option of the sampler is to sample live from a media that is playing. This will be done under the form of a loop. Select a pad to receive the sample, in this case it's number 4, and then choose the size of the loop using the arrows. Here I am recording or sampling an 8-beat loop. To start the sampling, hold shift plus send. Here the sample is saved on pad number 4. As you can hear, the loop is saved on the pad number 4. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.